Hey guys, it's Krishanti with Krishanti.com. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about things that block your intuition and how to work past that. I did a video about things that block your psychic ability and I wanted to break this into two separate areas because for me my psychic space is where I sit down I follow a definite procedure a method in order to tune in and to be all psychic and in psychic mode and so I separate that from intuition which is an ongoing process now the psychic thing is about clairaudience and clairvoyance and instant knowing and feeling and all of that what I've noticed with intuition for myself and a lot of people is that it's more often than not it's a sense and a feeling same kind of thing sense feeling and a knowing so first things first, one of the biggest things that blocks intuition is not listening to it. Um, what I've seen people do is they'll, they'll not listen to it and they'll just keep making mistakes over and over again, not listen to it, not listen to it. And then they're like, wait, I can't even hear it anymore. Um, rest assured if that happens to you, you can bring it back, but it, ignoring it will make it go further into the background. Whereas listening to it and paying attention to it will give it permission to step forward and start working for you. So that's one of the big blocks, not listening to it. Another thing, um, and this kind of goes on the heels of not listening to your intuition, is your fear that your intuition is going to be off or wrong or might lead you to make a decision or to do something that is not going to be for your highest good or for the best interest. So a fear will, will definitely stop that too. And, and some of us are also afraid, not only of being wrong, but afraid of being right. Sometimes we don't want to have to know that, that something's not going to work out or this isn't the best job, even though it's the only offer that's come up in a while or that this guy is a, a rotten egg or that you know what I'm saying? Like that kind of thing. Like we'd rather just not know. And so we're like, oh, I don't know if I can even just listen to my intuition. And that creates a block. Another block to intuition is what people will think if you're too spot on or you're, you know too much. Sometimes that threatens people. I, I love the whole mother's intuition thing. And now that I'm a mom, um, you really do have a sense. There's a, an instance a few years ago where I literally saw Ivan like running um, behind me at the grocery store. I'm laughing because it was like the eyes in the back of my head. And I literally did have eyes in the back of the head. Uh, in my head, I was like looking at the yogurt. And then I saw him like darting that way. And then I turned around and he was already like over there. Like he darted that way. And um, like for teenagers in, who have things to hide, like they really don't want their parents to be knowing what and all up in their business. So, um, and other people too, like maybe their fear of you, like, like knowing everything makes you just want to shut it down and maybe not know. And, and another thing that blocks that too is the whole, the whole collective unconscious and the whole wave of people who have a vested interest in us not being powerful or who think that this is wacky or wrong or that we can't it's wrong for us as humans to be this sentient and this 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 tuned in and this connected and this intuitive and perceptive it's that that whole um thing of or, or all those people that where you say something like wow i just thought of you and and you called and they're like well that's so weird or just having a sense like I just knew not to get on that airplane and then it crashed and rather than people saying like that's amazing wow your intuition really um, stepped in there instead of that they're like well that's just really strange and odd and um, so those are some of the things like right off of the top of my head a few of the big things that block your intuition now let's talk about ways to work through them those blocks so that you can listen in and get better at it because intuition happens on a moment to moment basis throughout your day, start to pay attention, first of all, to how you feel. Primarily, 
if you're sensitive like me, how you feel first thing in the morning, right before you get out of bed, that's your baseline energy before you start interacting with other people and being affected by other people's energies. And notice that and then hold that as your true, like your true north, your vibration, your energetic space. And then as you walk through your day, notice how that shifts and changes and pay attention to a bad feeling in the pit of your stomach or a, or, um, or, you know, just a sense that something's off or wrong and then have your radar on and, and notice like what, what's going on and what happens. I'll give you an example. Like for me, um, when something really bad is going to happen, like 9-11 style, I'll have a pain in my spleen, like really, really bad. And um, in fact, the day after September 11th, I has, I was um, having, sorry, I had an, what they call an endoscopy. So that they, they went in and actually took a piece of the tissue. This is before I learned how to be psychic and everything. They did a biopsy or whatever on a, on a piece of tissue um, because it was hurting so bad, like for months and months, no matter what I ate or whatever. So they were gonna, they were like checking out what was wrong. And then after that, after it happened, it went away. But I know a lot of you and a lot of the people I work with will have this funny feeling in the pit of their stomach. Um, pay attention to that and then notice what happens. Also pay attention to the good feelings. Like if you have a happy feeling or if your intuition tells you, like when you look in someone's eyes or you first meet them and you're like, I really like you. Like we are going to connect and be great friends. Like you're right about that. And even just if you really, really want to get good at this, keep a journal and write down all your hits, all your intuitive impressions, what you intuit about people that, I mean, you're with people all the time. So you can get a sense for like, is this person shady? Is this person going through something? Is this person awesome? Is this person sneaky? And get, you know, notice how you feel about them, what senses you get, if your heart feels open, if you feel good, if you don't feel good, all of that. Um, you can also give yourself little tests. Like I love to shop. So I used to test my intuition by like tuning in and, and intuiting whether or not I would find what I was looking for at a certain place. And then I'd write like, yes, I was right. Or maybe not this time. I didn't find anything. Um, I'm thinking like it just anything you can think of throughout your day that you can start to work your intuition on would be good. But um, the easiest thing is, is the emotions and energies of people around you and all that. Let me think of what else, what other ways to get through blocks. Um, basically, I guess the biggest thing is just keep working with your intuition and you will dissolve those blocks. I absolutely would prescribe a meditation practice or yoga practice or some way in which you still everything and you just have a quiet space and you you tune in to your inner guidance and your your spirit and once you honor that and give um, room for that it will begin to emerge and guide you through your life um, the reason why I'm pausing too and thinking a little bit is because for those of you who are really sensitive, you'll notice with intuition too, you'll notice shifts in energy and shifts in vibration. And then if you can let your intuition tell you what that's about, um, and just again, note it, write it down, you'll give it permission to activate and work more um, efficient for, efficiently for you all the time. And yeah, meditation, writing it down, paying attention to energies of people in your own energy, playing games with yourself all day. Those are, I think right now, plenty of things to start to work with, um, with your intuition. What I've definitely noticed again, I'll say it, it's so important. I'll say it one more time is the more you use it, the more it grows. So don't ignore it, give it permission to guide you. And it, and it won't steer you astray. And even if it might steer you in a direction that doesn't seem quite what you were expecting, let it happen because it'll unfold beautifully in, an, in another way. Um, trust that it might not be glaringly obvious, but it will present later on and will make sense in a different way. 
And that's how intuition works too. It's not gonna be like, <laughs> you know, the answer is A or, you know, it's multiple choice test kind of thing. It's sort of like you go through it, you do it, and then later on you're, you're like, oh my God, that's amazing how that all worked out. All the more reason to take notes and have a journal and all that too, which I still do um, because I'm constantly amazed and in awe of the wonderful things that happen, the synchronicities, the um, just incredible um things that occur with with intuition and with with the whole psychic thing too it's really a lot of fun so if you're interested in learning more about intuitive development uh, psychic development check out krishanti.com or subscribe and hit like in this video because i make videos every week if there's certain things you want me to talk about email me at ask at krishanti.com or leave a comment below I'm here to help and I love to talk about things that are interesting to you. So let me know. And that's all for now. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.